going on guys move 78 back at you with another american truck sim video this of course is my let's play series stories in the road i upload this every tuesday and thursday hope you're all doing well today by the way and today we're over here in ely nevada i bobtailed over from uh, mcgill where we last left off we are taking this trailer of recycled water up to redding california uh, don't get up to Northern California too much, so wanted to get up there, mix it up a little bit. We're about 41,000 pounds. Should be a pretty good run for us. Of course, we are still in the W900. Like I said, I'll probably stay in this for the foreseeable future. Although, I do kind of want to get back into the T680. But I'm enjoying this uh, quite a bit, so I'll probably stay in this. Got all fueled up on the way over, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. This run should be all rested up. Get out here and do some trailer trucking. Good both ways. And off we go. See what ATS has in store for us this trip. So I didn't look at the route that it has us taken. I'll stop up here at this red light and we'll take a look at that. Oh, and we just had an accident in front of us. Son of a gun. I don't know why that gets cleared up. Uh, close that. There we go. Yeah, it looks like it pretty much has us going the only route there is. So we'll take 50. We'll hit through Austin, go through Fallon. What, 580? Nah, that should be a pretty decent run. Plenty of places to stop and rest if we need to. Get fuel, all that good stuff. So nothing to worry about there. Looks like a pretty good route. Should be a pretty good run. That's getting all cleared up. Now let's go ahead and wait for that before we get out there. Don't know if you guys saw it or not, but uh, SES posted on their blog that they're going to be doing a small, looks, I'm going to assume it's going to be a small update. Uh, the wheel is going to be, uh, going to be animated now. And it's already animated, but uh, the steering column is going to be animated now. You know how it's going to be just like uh, the seat and all that stuff. Where you can adjust that up, down, back, forward, left, right, all that good jazz. So it looks like the wheels or the uh, steering column's got a telescope, be able to tilt it. That's a good sign that the AI is kind of behaving. Get in front of this guy. Get out here and start making some money.
What have you guys been up to lately? I've not actually played ATS since uh, the last episode. Just been... Like I said, uh, a couple episodes back, been playing quite a bit of Battlefield lately with the guys, so that's been a lot of fun. Uh, one thing I've been playing quite a bit over the weekend, seen it on sale on Steam. I didn't get it when it was on sale during the uh, summer sale, but I uh, came back around and it was like 40% off, something like that, or maybe it wasn't quite that much, but it was on sale and that was uh, GTA V. So I picked that up. I've been playing that quite a bit this weekend, uh, specifically the uh, LSPDFR mod. I'm sure a lot of you guys watch uh, Jeff Fabiano, and uh, he does a really good job with uh, his LSPDFR series. I enjoy watching it, and uh, I've been wanting to play it. So finally broke down and got GTA 5, getting a bunch of mods installed for that. And a tanker pulled over there. Interesting. I just love the little details like that that uh, the MHA guys do in their map. Running the latest version of that. First time I've ran this update, so I'm just kind of curious to see what uh, if they've added anything, or if it's. Just, I think uh, looking at the notes and everything, looks like it was just uh, fix some bugs and uh, things like that. But no, uh, the LSPD. What I've played of it so far, basically all I've done is install mods test it out to make sure it's working goofed around with it just a little bit but uh, from what I played so far man I think I'm gonna enjoy it might even uh, down the road a little bit once I get kind of used to the controls get everything installed kind of figure out how it all works uh, start posting some uh, LSPDR or LSPDFR content on the channel but it just looks like a lot of fun I've uh, been of course, like I said, I watch a lot of Fabiano's content. Also, been watching a lot of Runt Gaming, just to kind of learn uh, how they play the game and kind of get an idea of what the heck I'm supposed to be doing. So, should be fun. Still want to get some division content up on the channel. I'm kind of. I'm just kind of stuck right now because of, you know, kind of how unbalanced the game is. You know, I pretty much primarily play uh, solo. And I've pretty much gotten my character about as far as I can. So I'm kind of stuck. You know, I can't really do a whole lot of high level activities. But uh, I was watching a video from uh, Skill Up over the weekend where uh, he was talking about, um, it wasn't specifically the Reclaimer set, but that's the set he was using, and talking about uh, building a character for a um, a skill power build. So I want to go back and recalibrate a lot of that stuff and uh, give that a go. Because I do have, I think I actually have a whole whole uh, Reclaimer set that I could use. It'll probably be at least a four-piece set, then I'll just uh, mix and match a couple other parts in there. Heck, on if I was paying attention, I could have seen that I could uh, went around instead of going through this little thing here. Yeah, at least we get to kind of check out some of the map and all that good stuff. Again, just so some more of that uh, MHA detail. You know, and they got trucks delivering at these places. You know, you go past places on the highway and these rest areas. They got trucks parked there. But yeah, I might, uh, once I get that recalibrated, get some of that gear calibrated, uh, I'll do some videos on that, kind of test that out, see how that works. We'll get that up on the channel. That should be pretty interesting. But uh, yeah, that's the reason why I've not gotten any content up yet, because it's just basically me kind of running around the underground, just doing... Uh, 
stuff on hard mode, which, you know, that's not a whole lot of fun because pretty much all I get out of that is like 182 gear. The occasional gear piece that's meh. So I want to try out a uh, skill build. Throw on the uh, smart cover and see what that does. See if that allows me to kind of mow down some of those high level enemies. Hopefully it makes me a little bit more tankier. That I got a couple Battlefield videos I want mine to get up this week. Damn, that is bright as hell. There we go. Like I said, I don't know why it does it, but it seems like it's the uh, Peebo Weather Mod. So maybe they can get that figured out in a future update of that mod. And as always, all the links for mods and stuff like that are down in the video description. Should be sure to check that out. But yeah, that's pretty much what I've been up to. The games I've been playing here lately. Yeah, I'm really excited to uh, get into the LS PDFR though. Maybe in the next few weeks, uh, like I said, once I get the hang of everything, kind of learn what I'm doing, kind of get everything down, start getting some of that content up on the channel. I think you guys will enjoy that. Rolling up on Fallon. That light could stay green, that would be great. There we go. And we're rolling through here a little bit fast, but I think we'll be okay. Whopper Lust, man, that looks good right about now. Thankfully, that's a static cop. Otherwise, we, we got a ticket there. But of course, tomorrow I am going to get the uh, new series going that I had talked about a couple weeks back there. Just talking about some uh, stuff we would like to see with the uh, map rescale. Apologies for not getting that up last week. Uh, some stuff kind of came up last minute. Wasn't able to get it done in time. But uh, we are going to get that knocked out and get that up Wednesday. Then just depending on how the rest of the week goes, might even get some of that division content up yet this week. I know I want to start getting other stuff up on the channel because uh, you guys were, seems like you guys were pretty interested in that. Had some comments and messages and whatnot. So definitely want to get that up for you guys, but also, you know, obviously keeping uh, ATS as the main uh, main content on the channel, the featured content, if you will. Oh, get on the road. Get on the road. I was looking over there at the lake. Going to the lake kind of sounds fun. I'm not sure where you guys are at, but uh, where I'm at, it is hotter than Satan's nutsack. And even with the air conditioning on, you know, thankfully I'm blessed that, you know, be able to have air conditioning and all that stuff. Because, man, it has just been sinfully hot out. Wagon about nailed us. Yeah. So 
So if I'd known I had that much of a lane to kind of stay in and get wound up, I would have stayed over in the right-hand lane. I mean, yeah, it's a turn lane and all that, and it eventually turns into a turn lane, but I could have stayed, uh, stayed in that right-hand lane and ga gained a little bit more speed before hopping out here in the or what was the middle lane. We just went down to a two-lane, but... I know I've talked about it before. A lot of other people have talked about it. The ramps in this game need some serious attention, and uh, we'll get we'll get into that uh, tomorrow. Talk about that. Way station coming up at a mile, so we ain't gonna gain too much speed. But it looks like glancing down at the mini, trying to peek up. Yeah, we're not stopping. It's just a. Uh, just a little rest area, truck stop, fuel stop, whatever. It has a scale, but it's not an actual way station. So, we ain't gonna worry about that none too much. Gotta peek over there, take a look at all the stuff they got over there. And this is just a uh, regular freight market run. It's not a uh, contracted run. So we can get out here and go as fast as we like. I don't know that I'm necessarily going to kick it up to 80. Now, whenever I see uh, cop cars, I'm reminded of uh, LSPDFR in-game, so... guys doing fortunately we are going straight so well, now everyone's kind of so I wasn't paying attention to the speed limit there on the map now it dropped down to 65 I don't know if it changed a couple times there just was doing some weird stuff It's just kind of weird how the AI traffic was kind of slowing down, almost like we were kind of up on a town. Then they all kind of sped up on me as I got out there in the left-hand lane. Booze. And kind of going back to uh, the little SES update we talked about there at the start. Still have not heard anything, or at least I've not read or heard anything about uh, more trucks coming into the game. Oh, you little weasel. AI traffic in this game is the bane of my existence. Truck's all jacked up now. I guess it did do too much damage to it. At least it doesn't look like it. No idea why he just kind of came to a complete stop there. I knew he was going to get over it last minute.
but I thought I'd slow down enough, and, you know, I did. And then he just kind of brake checked me there at the last second. Not a whole lot I could do. Not a whole lot we could have done there. Check and see where we're at here. Uh, we're not too far out of Reading. So maybe we can get there and uh, get it all done in one episode here, huh? Long as the AI behaves the rest of the trip. So we should be hopping on the interstate here pretty soon. So that allows us to make a little bit better time. Of course, once we get to California, we have to stay right at... Uh, we're at about 55, not exactly 55, but 55, 60, somewhere in there. Doing good on fuel, no need to stop. That's interesting. I kind of wonder why they got that barricade there. Get a screenshot here real quick. There we go. California! No. No, I'm sorry. Got a little carried away there. I usually do stuff like that when I'm driving by myself anyway. Maybe they're kind of singing along to the radio or kind of just make up songs as I go. I'm a goofball like that. Interesting place to put a rest stop. But I do like how many uh, rest stops that uh, the MHA guys have put on the map. That's it's nice. Kind of helps with the issue of not being able to stop and sleep anywhere you want. Really like this northern part of California, though. Just all the trees and everything. really hopped outside this episode. Grab another screenshot real quick before we run it off the road. Looks like we'll be hopping out on the interstate here in a moment. Oh, look at that. Time that light just about right.
Don't want to take that turn too crazy with uh, water on here. Get that sloshing around and lose all sorts of control. about there. Hot damn. I'd say right now this uh, trip's about 90% successful. You know, aside from that little mishap with uh, the AI... Has not been too daggone shabby. Yeah, you're right there. Rock on, White Snake. Oh man. Oh, you filthy animal, you. I figured Sir Yawns a lot would start doing that about the time we're ready to make the delivery. It's right there. Or do I go in this drive? Looks like they want it in this drive. I was gonna try to get another screenshot there, but should be good, I guess. Just kind of take a look at the yard, kind of wondering where they may want this. Where do you need it? Where would that be? It's off to the right. That might not be. Yeah, that shouldn't be too bad at all. I think we can handle that. I say that now, and you know, three hours later, I'm still trying to park it. But hey, hey, you know. And you watch. About the time I start to back this up, this guy's gonna start to doze off. The turd bucket he is. Good start at this. That should not be too bad at all. As I look at that, that W900 is like right where we need to park. That's gonna be. He's like right in the thing there. Up and straighten out here. Oh, 
I'll just kind of slowly take it on back and see what happens. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to have to keep it right on that, uh, that right side, that right edge of uh, where they want us to park. Stop that. Straight out. Yeah, dad gummit. Just squeeze that right around there. Probably, maybe, no. That should be good there. There we go. Block this guy in. There we go. There we go. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for another episode of Stories from the Road. As always, thanks for watching, hanging out, supporting. It's greatly appreciated. If you liked today's video, give it a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch, helps the channel grow. And if you're new to the channel and not already subscribed, please consider doing so now. But guys, we're going to cut on out of here. We'll pick it up in the next episode. Till the next one, stay safe, take care, and we'll be seeing you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you want to follow me over on the Twitters, click on the link in the description. And if you're looking for great gaming gear at an affordable price, click my NoScope affiliate link also down in the description. And if you want more ATS content, Click on the video to check out my Stories from the Road playlist. Thanks, and we'll catch you in the next one.